One of the really dynamite features of Articulate Storyline is the light box. It's easy to use, it's super flexible, and it looks great. For example, let's say that you want to build a media gallery like the one that you see here. You've probably seen something similar to this before on various websites. You click on a link and suddenly an image, or in this case a video, is superimposed on top of the screen, and everything behind it is faded out. This is called the shadow box or the light box effect. And creating a media gallery like this in Storyline is super simple using the light box feature. Let's head on over and take a look. I'm here in Storyline and I would like to create a media gallery using the light box feature. I can do so in three simple steps. Step number one. I need to decide where I want the action or the light boxing to take place. I'm going to call this my action slide. I have it set up, I have three objects that I've added to the screen, and I would like the learner to click on these objects. And when they do, I would like a different video for each object to be light boxed on top of this slide. So three objects means three videos. Now the way the light boxing feature works in Storyline, we're not actually light boxing the video itself. If we come on over to the trigger panel, you will see that there is an action called Lightbox Slide. What we're actually going to do is Lightbox a slide. So if I come back to Story View, you'll notice I have three empty slides. Each of these slides is going to contain one of my videos. And that the way the Lightboxing feature works is that these slides where the video is going to be placed, they are going to be Lightboxed on top of my action slide. So, all I have to do in step number two is make sure I have enough slides for my media, and I can simply come onto each of these slides and insert my video. There's one. There's two. And there's three. If I come back out to story view, you will see that I now have three slides, each containing a video, and I have my three objects on my action slides all ready to go. Now the neat thing about the Lightbox feature in Storyline is that these slides do not need to reside in the same scene as the action slide. They can be completely hidden. So for example, you're working on a large project and you would rather have these slides not be in the menu, not a problem. Remove them from their menu and they will still be lightboxed perfectly. This is a great idea. You can use it for instructions, for a hidden menu, whatever the case might be, you can get really creative with lightboxes. But we've got step number one, I have my action slide. Step number two, I have my slides which are going to be lightboxed and they now contain my media. Step number three, all I have to do is come back to my main slide and insert my triggers. So I select my object, Go to my trigger wizard, action, lightbox slide, which slide? Media number one here. When the user clicks that object, and now I can simply copy that trigger, paste it to my other two objects, and right here in the trigger panel, choose my other slides, and now let's go preview this. Preview the entire project, and video number one, there's the slide, number two, and number three. And it is that simple. Using the Lightbox feature in Storyline, you can quickly create a media gallery in three simple steps.